Hey, so another quick question and answer. Uh, questions I received last week and then questions I had for other people. And I want to emphasize that everything I say, like I learned from others, there's really nothing original with me. So what do we recommend for a humidity target? Uh, we keep it as low as we can at night and then we try to keep it up in the day. Uh, we don't run misters or anything, but we do run we do run our wet wall um, even now early in the spring. Well, for us, it's early in the spring. So to keep humidity levels up in the day, that really seems to help uh, tip burn uh, from happening and powdery mildew from spreading. If you can keep it more level, more even, is vertical airflow necessary? We don't use any vertical airflow. It sure can help with tip burn. Um, it's probably not. If you have tip burn though, there's definitely like other things to look at first. Um, make sure your nutrients are right and um, that the humidity isn't swinging like crazy. Where do we get our rafts from? We get them from BP Grower, uh, Beaver Plastics is the name, uh, bpgrower.ca or .com is their website, I believe. Does the air cone work for NFT? So our air cone are um, what I believe is the most efficient uh, way to aerate your water. Um, yes, it does. There's been a uh, great success uh, with the air cone in NFT. Uh, it just has so much cleaning action and then in NFT and the gutters, um, not the channels, but the gutters, and um, sometimes the pipes, you know, there can be a buildup. Um, there can be sludge in the bottom of the tank and pythium can be living there. So you can have just a low level of pythium and the um, and high levels of dissolved oxygen just really help with that. Uh, do we carry a liability policy? Yes, we do. How do you pop the plants out of the plug tray? We use this uh, plug popper from Two Bad Cats. It's wood. It's like not that great, but if you, well, cause these things rot off. If you put this, an empty one on there, when you push the, uh, the full tray on there, it really helps. It just really helps guide it on there. Do we disinfect our rafts? Yes, we do. Every single time we harvest them, we have this raft washer and it scrubs them and bleaches them. How much money do we make? Um, we last year uh, we made a dollar and twenty-two cents per week per square foot of growing area. What percent shade cloth do we run? It's a fifty-five percent. Is it automatic? Yes, it is. Uh, do we have a video on it? Yes, I do. How did we link our ponds together? So this pump here, the suction is in this pond, but then it pumps up and over and it does the circulating in this pond. So it's pumping out of this one into this one and then vice versa here, that one, the suction comes out of this pond, the pressure goes back in, comes over here and it does the circulation here. And then we have this is just a siphon kind of doing the balancing. Um, so one never gets fuller than the other. So these two are linked together and these two are linked together and then we have this system. This is just a sump pump that runs and it pumps water out of these two into these two. And then the water comes back over on this siphon. So that's how the whole thing is linked together. And it's not like the most ideal, like if we had a proper manifold buried, but um, it, it, keeps, it keeps the EC and pH very level uh, throughout and keeps the nutrients uh, very level throughout because this side, the basal uses a lot of iron and this side uses a lot of potassium. And it was always kind of hard to keep that all balanced, but now that it's just all tied together, uh, it's very easy. And finally, my question, how does elevated calcium help with the plant resisting powdery mildew? So it's very interesting. So calcium is the, the strength in the cell. And that's why when you have low calcium for a variety of reasons, uh, you get tip burn. Um, but powdery mildew to attach itself to the plant, it needs, I forget the technical term, but it needs to like send a, a I'm gonna call it a tap root, that's not what it is, but the spore sends out a little root into the surface of the plant and attaches itself and then it uh, populates. Well, if the plant is, if that leaf is high in calcium, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a harder surface. And so, so the, the powdery mildew doesn't attach itself. Alrighty, that's it. Um, 
we've got products on greenies.us, drop seeders, uh, obviously our wonderful air cone. Um, so yeah, I'd be, I'd love it if you check that out. And the first Q and A video didn't do so great. So if you want to leave a like, uh, I'll know to do more of these. Thank you.